Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. Honor recently launched Honor View 10, which is absolutely amazing phone. And like I said earlier, it's a very good competition to the OnePlus 5T. But anyway, you are here for two reasons. One, you got this device and you want to know its tricks or you enjoy my videos and I absolutely appreciate it. I wouldn't have crossed 23,000 subscribers without you awesome people. Keep supporting and I'll keep uploading. With that being said, let's get started with Honor View 10 Tips and Tricks. Starting off with the home screen, Honor has been kind enough to give a lot of customization options. For instance, you can change the layout of the screen by long pressing the home screen and going into settings. Although you can only change it to few existing options, it's a good thing to have. I personally love that they have given the Google Now screen at the right side of the screen, but I am sure there are a lot of people who wouldn't want that. To disable that, you have to go into the same settings and disable the Google Feed toggle. Since Honor doesn't have the apps menu by default, all your apps would be jumbled on the home screen. Lucky for us, Honor has provided a shortcut to align apps with a shake and it's really handy when there are a lot of empty space on your home screen. It is also located in the same settings page where you will disable the Google Feed. For those who don't like this kind of interface where there is no apps menu, they can get back the drawer style by going into settings, display, home screen style. In there you will see an option to change it from standard to drawer. Now let's talk about security. You know how all stock Android devices have guest feature account where you can have two different profiles in one device. Honor View 10 takes it to another level with seamless transition. You have to enable it from the security and privacy and set another fingerprint for that mode. And boom, next time you use that fingerprint, it will take you to another profile where you won't have any data. Useful in situation when parents, friends ask you for your phone to check what's on your phone. Honor View 10 doesn't have its own assistant like Google Assistant or Siri, but it still has few voice controls which you can use if you have misplaced your device. Hey Jarvis, where are you? Over a period of time, I have realized that 6-inch displays are very hard to handle, but there are few manufacturers who gives an option of one-hand mode. To enable that, you need to go into the Smart Assistants, Settings, and then click on One-Hand UI. As you can see, the navigation buttons are necessary to use this mode, which is kind of a bummer, but if you are facing difficulty using the device with one hand, you better turn this on. Honor View 10 comes with a massive 18 to 9 screen which is absolutely stunning. And here's the thing which I loved about the Honor 10 compared to OnePlus 5T. You can actually hide the navigation buttons for good and use the navigation dock or the fingerprint gestures which I personally use to navigate throughout your phone. You can tap once to go back, you can press and hold to come back to the home screen and you can swipe to get the recent app menu. Coming to the next one, I don't know why but I love having the option to see my network speed on the status bar. If you want to have the speed displayed on the status bar, you need to turn that on from the settings, apps and notification, notification and status bar. From this menu, you will be able to enable the display network speed. You can also get the battery percentage indicator from the same screen by selecting the last option. You can either have the battery indicator beside the battery icon or you can have the battery percentage indicator inside the battery icon. Almost every phone nowadays allows you to keep a lock screen message and Honor View 10 doesn't miss that out. To set the lock screen message, go to settings, privacy and security, lock screen. In there you will find an option to add the lock screen signature. While you are at it, you can also enable the option where you can see the steps you have walked throughout the day. But in case you are someone who is used to sitting at home eating chips all the day, I would recommend you not to turn that on. By the way, in privacy and security settings, I found this cool thing which I have not seen in many other devices. 
you can actually check which fingerprints you have enrolled and if you see some fingerprint which has not been highlighted by your hands you can simply remove it because that's someone else's fingerprint on a view 10 by default has the lock screen screenshot dial pad sounds and vibration turned on to turn that off you need to go into settings sound and then more sound settings at the bottom you can enable and disable all the settings as per your preference so that's pretty much for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button also if you're still here and you haven't subscribed then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon as youtube misses out sending notifications a lot of times anyway i'll be coming up with my review of the honor view 10 along with a video on reasons to buy honor view 10 over oneplus 5t so stay tuned see you guys in the next one